Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. Back to uh, one of our local stories, accepting nominations for the February 10th local government elections concluded at noon today. The accepting of nominations for 248 local government bodies concluded today. The Podujana party's nomination list for the Thirappane Pradesh Sabha was rejected as the signature of the party secretary did not have a date. The SLMC's nomination list for the Valigama Pradesh Sabha was rejected due to the lack of sufficient female representation. The nomination list of the Janasetha Perumana for the Sidhuwa Pradesh Sabha was rejected due to the lack of sufficient nominees. Nomination lists of the National People's Party for the Colombo Municipal Council and United Socialist Party's list for the Cote Municipal Council were also rejected today. The United National Freedom Front's nomination list for the Buttala Pradesh Sabha was also rejected today. The nomination list of the Democratic People's Movement for the Ratkama Pradesh Sabha has been rejected. The Janasetha Perumuna's nomination list for the Walikanda Pradesh Sabha in Polunnaru was rejected due to the lack of sufficient female representation. The UPFA and Muslim National Party failed to submit nominations for the Bandarawala Pradesh Sabha even though they had earlier placed the deposits for nominations. Ahead of the local government elections, as always, the impending election for the Colombo Municipal Council received special attention. Nominations for the Colombo Municipal Council were accepted at the new town hall in Colombo today. The United National Party submitted its nominations list, including former MP Rosie Senanayaka. I'm contesting for the post of mayor. I have a very talented team with me. The United People's Freedom Alliance also submitted its nomination lists for the Colombo district today, including Azad Sali. We hope that the people will vote to support the President's vision for a clean Colombo and a clean municipal council. In a city where there are many Tamil-speaking people, it is everyone's hope that a Tamil-speaking individual will be elected mayor. This is also the hope of President Maitripala Sirisena. Azad Sali has come forward as the mayoral candidate of the UPFA to fulfill this hope. Furthermore, in order to represent the interests of the Tamils in our capital and to represent the interests of the women, I am coming forward as the candidate for the Palmankad Award as one of you. Specialist Dr. Ranil Jayasena has been included in the JVP's nomination list for the CMC. The rulers of this country have led the country down a path of destruction and disease. As a doctor, I believe it is timely for me and my team to step forward. A total of nine political parties and two independent groups are contesting the CMC election. Still on the same subject, parliamentarian SM Marika reacted to media reports regarding the UNP nomination list for the Kolonava UC and the Kotikavata PS. There are some media reports that I raised the nomination of Bharat Lakshman Premachandra's wife, Sumana Premachandra, from the UNP list for the Kolonava Urban Council. These reports also state that based on instructions of the UNP, I entered her name once again. This is a complete lie. This is a tale cooked up by some politicians and NGOs. As the official that has been empowered by the party for the Kolonava Urban Council and the Muleria of Pradesh Sabha, I had the liberty to choose the candidates. The party did not inform me to provide her with a nomination. However, two days ago she called me up and asked if I could include her in the nomination list. I told her I have completed my list and signed off on it, so I could not.